Hello, my lovelies, beautifuls, amazings, and wonderfuls, and beloveds. Thank you for joining me. I am Maggie, and you know your name. Thank you for joining me here on my channel. What we've been doing is, we've been doing a nice little crawl through Excuses Be Gone by Dr. Wayne Dyer. It is a book on how to change lifelong self-defeating thinking habits. And we have been having just a jolly, jolly, it's not Christmas yet, but time in this book. And excuses be gone, be gone. And anyway, we're going to pick up where we left off. We are in part two, um, chapter five, the second principle, which is alignment. So the first principle was awareness. We covered that chapter four. And we're going to pick up where we left off. When you get a chance, like right now, hit like and hit subscribe and please leave your positive comments. I really appreciate it. And those likes and subscribes really do help me to grow and help my channel to grow and your positive comments do as well. So I look forward to hearing from you and I thank you for listening. Okay, so we're going to pick up where we left off. Ready? Okay, here we go. It's my contention that the universe not only will, but must provide you with what you conceive of. So if you complain about what's missing from your life, including the money that you believe to be in short supply, you'll be offered experiences that match the energy. When you, when you say, I love my job, but I'll never get rich at it, you're aligning with a frequency that will give you what you think. This is why I believe the rich often get richer. It's certainly been true for me since I left poverty behind me some 60 years ago. By staying focused on what I intended to create, by believing that the universe is all providing, and by knowing that I'm worthy of the unlimited beneficence, beneficence <laughs> beneficence of the source of being, I just kept attracting prosperity to me. And by being un unattached to what shows up, which means that I have no desire for more and more, I am able to let it go easily. What remains a mystery to so many remains a simple truth to me. And I also know like we're on a spectrum. So if you're in the level of poverty, if you do the work, the work will work, the, the work will do you. So as you begin to clean up what your mind thoughts and your frequency, you will begin to resonate with higher levels of uh, abundance and health and business and all these things. And it's kind of like when you get to that point, like it's kind of like when you're trying to get a degree. You know, you're all stressed out and you don't think you can, you know, nursing is a really difficult degree to get, et cetera, et cetera. And you, you know, it, it is, they put you through the paces and um, you go through different levels and depending on the types of schools and et cetera, and you just don't think you can do it, but you get through the first semester, the second semester, so that first year, and then you probably take some summer courses, whatever. You don't think that you can do it, but then the next thing you know, you're graduating from nursing school. Now you think, voila, I am the cat's meow. And then you find out, oh, shit. Now I have to take boards. Now I have to pass the NCLEX. Now I have to get my license. And then not until I've passed my license, then from there, now you have to get hired. And then from hiring, now I have to learn on the floor and get become competent and all these things. So I'm just saying like the ante gets raised and each time you, you, you know, some people are like, yeah, I got this. But a lot of people, myself included, was like, ah, how am I going to do this? But then I got, I made it. And each time the level raised, I raised too. And then when I raised to that level, my confidence increased, uh, my knowledge increased, my skill set increased, but also my energy and my frequency and my magnetism increased. 
So I'm just saying like, do not give up wherever you are. Realize that you're climbing a type of energetic ladder. And if you don't give up, you will increase your energy and frequency and you will begin to resonate with higher and higher levels of abundance, health, etc., etc. Okay, so we're going to keep going. So, stay in a state of gratitude and let the awesome yet unexplainable Tao proceed to do nothing and yet leave nothing undone. Rather than asking for more, which implies shortages and therefore creates a vibrational match to more shortages, Focus on what you have and how thankful you are for everything that has shown up in your life. Because when you start to look around, you do start to realize, wow, I just have so much to be thankful for and what a wonderful life that I do have. To that end, keep in mind a happiness index. Yeah, this is a really good one. Put this in the journal. That was recently taken from different, different countries around the world. It turns out that Nigeria, which is one of the poorest of nations with the least modern of conveniences, came in at number one for reports of happiness among the people there. The U.S. ranked 46 out of 50, despite having one of the highest standards of living in the world. So, you know, there's spiritual poverty too, right? So, okay. Apparently, the emphasis in Nigeria isn't on the mantra of the ego, which demands more and more and more. Emphasizing needing more has built within it the idea of shortage, lack, and I don't have enough. Consequently, when you think more, you become a vibrational match to experiencing more shortage in your life like it or not. So the thing about it is you want to have your energy in a having state, feeling that gratitude state and being appreciative for what you do have and for what is also that you are creating because you're going to want to create things in your life and you want to be, the feeling is the key. So you want to be grateful for what you have but also grateful for what you're, you're creating. And when you do acquire the X, Y, Z that you have, make sure you are enjoying it to the fullest and you are um, appreciating that. Like, you know, you finally got the car or you finally got the relationship. Do not just then do the more, more, more monster. Um, stop, pause, and just bask in the gratitude of having and being and enjoying and appreciating each day because we are so we are so favored to be alive at this time even though things are hustling and bustling and changing all around you are brought here for a time such as this so i encourage you to figure out what that is that you're supposed to be doing so that you can give it full out so I wanna thank you so much for joining me on this slow crawl. I really appreciate it and I appreciate you and I appreciate your support. And it is such a joy to get to have this time with you. So right now, please don't be shy. Hit that like button and hit subscribe and leave your positive comments. I would love to know how these readings may be helping you. Um, some of you be looking at some of the posts I'd be putting on different beautiful places in Hawaii or other places that have just been wonderful to me. And I just encourage you to take a look and check out their website sometimes and see what, what you might be blessed with. Um, Christmas is coming up, so there's nothing better than supporting Hawaii and some of these other wonderful people I've posted on my channel. All right. Well, I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for joining me. And you know what's next? You know what's next? Peace in. Peace out.